Mike D, Hold 'em Hook TV. I got off from work today. I, I said, you know what? I think it's about time to run this sea foam through my motor. I heard a lot about it. I'm gonna go and try it and see if it works for my motor. Even though it's, it's not running that bad, but I just think my injectors might be a little corroded and my carburetor need to be cleaned just a little bit. So I'm gonna try this out first and see if um, this is gonna work. I got my two cycle all here. I already got my gallon of gas mixed up with the with the bottle of sea foam. And I'm gonna run the motor for about 10 minutes with the regular gas in it. Then I'll switch over to the sea foam because you wanna run this engine and get it warm first before you put the sea foam in it. I was looking for my keys this morning. That's where they at. I left them in the motor last night. Um, we're in the ignition, excuse me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna run the I'm gonna run the motor first for a couple of minutes. Like I said, about 10 minutes, and then I'll put the sea foam in it and we'll get that going. So y'all stay with me, YouTube. See how much smoke I'm gonna get to come out this motor with using the sea foam. Mike D. Holdem Hook TV. Y'all come my first time doing this, but I think it might work for my. This is a 1986 90 Yamaha horse motor. So we're gonna see if it's gonna help us out, y'all. Here we go. See if we can get a crunk up here. spares y'all the boredom of watching me take the disconnector loose but I'm gonna I'm take this off because I'm gonna use this I'm gonna need this to put inside of my um inside of the one gallon with the sea foam in it. I got that top right there because I just didn't want to waste gas everywhere um, another thing guys when you're taking off your stuff like that you might want to put like a piece of simple paper towel or something that to keep something from falling inside your gas tank while you have your quick connect on so um i got the gas right here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this off put my quick connect back on here okay i'm gonna pop this back into place guys it's all about the camera being everywhere on y'all like that 
That look like it's in there fairly decent. Okay. Well, look like I'm gonna have to get this up on the boat. I run my tube. This thing is actually real full. As you can see, he wants to kind of get off of there a little bit, but um, I'm gonna get the motor started and we're gonna run the foam through it. So if y'all guys stay with me, I let the motor run for about 10 minutes before I did this process with the regular um, pre-mixed gas that I have in my tank. I always pre-mix my gas. Um, I would never trust this all tank for my motor. Um, so with that being said, we'll get the sea foam running in there for a couple of minutes, maybe 10 to 15. I cut it off. I let it cool off and I, I let it run again for about 10 minutes. I kind of idled it up a little bit to clean off the injectors and stuff and we'll go from there. So stay with me, you two. You guys, no, number one rule when running your outboard outside of the water, make sure you have your muffs hooked up so water can be running through your motor because man, running your motor dry would do horrible sometimes irreversible damage on your motor that's going to cost you tons of money so you don't want to do that all right guys as you can see i got the sea foam set up in the thing we're going to get it started and i'm going to let it run for about 15 minutes and we're going to go from there here we go I had to prime it again, so.
the motor is actually starting to sound a little bit better. It took about 30 minutes for me to see something. That just goes to show you how dirty the injectors and the carburetors were. I'm gonna let it run a little bit longer. I got a little bit more gas left, but I'm almost done. YouTube I ran it with the sea foam for almost an hour as you guys can see 56 and a half minutes all right as you guys can see that's all the um, mixture they have left. So, I mean, it almost ran about a gallon an hour, just about. So, I think it did good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run it again. I'm going to let it cool down for 10 minutes, and I'm going to run it again for like another 5 or 10 minutes with the regular gas. And that's going to be it for the day. So, stay with me, YouTube. I'm going to hook that up right quick, and I'll be right back with y'all. I gotta hook up my quick connect back to my gas tank and I'm gonna let it run for a minute. By the time I do all that, it's gonna be about 10 minutes and I'll start it and let it run for a couple of minutes with the regular mixed gas I have in my tank. And we're gonna go from there. Stay with me, hold them hook TV. All right guys, I've been running it for about 10 minutes with the regular gas. It sounds a whole lot better, but I know it could do better than that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing two more times over the next three to four days. And um, I think I'd be pretty good from there. I can actually see the second injector is actually spitting out. First, it wasn't really spitting out any gas. Now it was, it's really spitting out gas. And the third one is starting to trickle a little bit more. So I'm thinking about two to three more times, maybe two more times, I'll have it to where I need it to be. So I think it was a success. It's getting late now. I'm ahead in the house. Um, I think I think it was a success what I did today. I ran it. I did like I was supposed to do. Uh, far as the, the process of running the sea foam into the into the motor. Um, so I think everything went good. Like I said, I'm gonna have to do it again, maybe once or twice. I'm thinking two times, and I think I'll be pretty good. Um, I use this sea foam right here. I think they have a marine grade one now. I think I might try that one next time or not. I might just go back with this one. Works pretty good, um, good to me. So, um, I know you guys probably seen this a ton of times on YouTube, but I just wanted to make a video on me doing mine on my 1986 um, Yamaha 90 horse. This is it. I uh, got a little bit cleaning up to do, detailing on it. But for the most part, it's a really good motor. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna get on out of here, take my shower, get ready for my day tomorrow at work. So. Like, comment, subscribe. Can't catch him at the house on the couch. Can't do nothing in the house on the couch. So, till next time, you two. Like, comment, subscribe. Your boy Mike D. Till next time, you two. We gonna holler.